uh, the directors of some of the iconic comedies of our generation, and their very first ever sequel is in studios and theaters uh, near you on November 14th. The directors of Dumb and Dumber 2, T.O., for those spelling at home, Peter and Bobby Farrelly. Good to see you guys <laughs> here in studio. See you. This Thank is you. fantastic. So, Peter, uh, I know you want to get something off your chest about the National Football League, and I'm sure in, in promoting this movie, you don't get this opportunity very much. So the floor is yours, That's Peter why Farrelly. I'm here. I, first of all, let me say, I yes. think I love the NFL's rules. I like, you know, I'm, I don't want to change a lot of rules. Sure. Uh, I was glad they brought in instant replay, but I don't like to change a lot of rules. But this one, I always wondered, and I'm just throwing it out there for people to think about. Yes. You know, when some say you're at your own four-yard line and you have a 10-yard holding penalty on your own team. Yes. Well, they'd go back to the two-yard line. Half the half distance. Half the distance of the goal. Right. Why not it's take the... It's almost worth holding. Yeah. Why not, <laughs> why not take the first down markers 10 yards further? So instead of having to get to the 14-yard line... Now you have to get to the 24. It will st it will be a true 10-yard penalty. Interesting, because I would think I, I thought this is where I thought you were going. That instead of it being back to the two, that you take it 10 yards back. Now you have to snap the ball from six yards deep in your own <laughs> yeah, end zone. Yeah, that I thought that's where you were going. <laughs> it's that's not a terrible idea. No, but just to go the other 10. You know, you so 10-yard penalty. So it's just like anywhere else. It would be first and 20 from your four-yard line. Exactly. I like that idea. I, I always look at that like, why don't they do it that way? But in any case, you know. Peter I like that rule, but, something. Does, but does the NFL need more rules? Yeah, because yes. there's been a lot of flags. Bobby, you don't have, you're not wrong about that. There's been but a lot is of there, flags. Is there anything better than the NFL? Well, you're asking, you're asking uh, that's a loaded question to somebody like me. No, the of NFL not. is the happiest four months of my year. <laughs> Seriously, when, and when it ends, right. I go into a little depression. Actually, for about three weeks, when the season ends, like as the weekend's approaching, I'm like, uh, "Well, you're a compulsive gambler." Uh, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, uh, there's no gambling in the NFL. He's a degenerate gambler. <laughs> Bobby and Peter Farrelly are joining me here in uh, in studio. Their new movie, Dumb and Dumber Two, is out uh, on Friday, November fourteenth. Uh, so you're Patriot fans, I would assume, right? Because yes, you're yes. roadies, you're Rhode yeah. Island guys. We have the yeah. Patriot desk site, by the way, which you download. It's a great app. And then any team you want, you get all information on that team. Is that right? Yeah. So that's how you roll to, I, to every follow day your team. I'm just checking it out. So is it true that you went Patriot first for the cameo in Something About Mary? Is that a true story? That is. Peter? Bobby? Yes. 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 Our, our first choice was Drew Bledsoe. He was, you know, he was the uh, he was the stud at the time for the uh, for the Patriots. Sure, uh, and still is. Yeah. I love Bledsoe, but right. he had just gotten in a like a little bit of a what was it? A little they had the Marsh Grimmish. incident. Oh, okay. Remember? Sure. He went out one night. You know, he's a single guy. Went out with his pals, and uh, they went to a club, and he dove into a mosh pit, and I guess somebody kind of tweaked their neck. Right. Nothing serious, but it was in the news. And uh, he called us up, said, I, I can't come do your movie in Miami because if they find out I'm doing a movie after that, they're going to run me out of town. Right. So he was out. No kidding. And yes. then so who'd you? And then, then we went to uh, Steve Young. Steve Young. Yes. This is again for the cameo at the end of yeah. Something About Mary. And Steve Young called one day and said, I have to tell you, that's the funniest script I've ever <laughs> read. But. I cannot do it because if I do it, it's uh -huh. R-rated, and I know all the Mormon kids are going to be sneaking in, and I, I wouldn't feel good about that. We were like, oh, stand-up guy. That's yeah, nice. Cool. And then we, you went to Favre. Favre. Then Brett Favre. Brett Favre. Then you went to Brett Favre. Favre. Brett Favre. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? That's the way casting works. It's like you don't always get exactly who you're thinking of up front, but, but you do get the right person, and Brett was, you know, Brett was fantastic. Brett, Brett's awesome. the man. Brett's in fact, man. when Brett was coming, we got phone calls uh, that week from, uh, some, I don't know, his manager or something. They said, don't hit him up for uh, autographs. Just don't, you know, clobber him. And we were like, okay. So we told the whole crew, do not, you know, just leave him alone when he gets here. And he showed up. He had this bag, like this big, full of footballs. He said, come on, guys, let's do autographs. He no, signed okay. them all, that's, brought the balls. He was spectacular. That's, that's he, far, man. Yeah. I got Peter and Bobby Farrelly in studio. Do we have a phone call? Is that what we got? We, have we do. We have, a, we have a phone call online. It's uh, Drew in Washington. Drew in Washington. Oh. Ah. You're on the Rich no, Eisen oh, Show. No. Drew, are you there? Is the caller there? What's, what's happening, boys? How are you? Guy, you know, I... It's one of my great regrets in life, man. I didn't take that part, and I, I just, I know, the, I know the movie would have just really had a, a successful run had I been in it. Oh, you know, it's it probably made a few hundred million, right? So, 
you know, had had I taken that part instead of uh, instead of Brett, I mean, we're talking Academy Awards, all of those things would have happened for sure. Well, I, we, it would have, the line would have been or Drew Bledsoe. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to pronounce yeah. the E at the yeah. end. So E. Drew, no kidding. Yeah, I gotta, uh, Pete I gotta, and I. I've got to tell you guys real quick yeah. uh, that I am, I'm so fired up for this movie to come out. And a, and a quick story. Your, your Dumb and Dumber is actually, it's, it's actually pretty important in our family. It was the last Christmas that it was just me and my mom and dad and my brother, only the four of us. I got married a year after. And uh, that Christmas night, we went to the movie, and my mom loves to tell the story. She didn't watch the movie. She watched me and my dad and my brother as we were laughing so hard <laughs> that we couldn't, couldn't speak. It was awesome. Ah, that's great. That's, that's great awesome, to hear. Drew. Thank you. Hey, uh, Drew, no kidding. Pete and I were talking over this past weekend, and we said, we owe Drew one that uh, we, we will get you in a movie down the road. Oh, we, it's long Ooh. overdue, okay. that's for sure. That, 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 you know, we, we remember when you passed on that role, but uh, we'll make it up to you. And by the oh, way... I appreciate it, guys. I'd, I'd hate to have my resume just only have Jerry Maguire on it. <laughs> 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 I really yeah. felt like the Academy snubbed me for that performance. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> although Bruce Armstrong, my left tackle, told me he thought it was a real reach. He goes, man, are you playing a quarterback? I, I don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had Bruce in one of our movies, too. Did did you really? Yeah, he was pretty good. Yeah, yeah stuck on you. Oh, that stuck on yeah. you. Yeah, sure. And uh, Lawyer Malloy was in that. Yeah, Lawyer and Tommy in that yeah. one. Yeah, right? yeah, right. You had Brady in that one nerds, too. Computer nerds. And yeah. nobody recognized him. Tom, nobody, you know, he really hit. We kind of. Well, shamed nobody him. saw the movie either. <laughs> oh, come on, now. that's true. Wow. So yeah, you got see Bledsoe, Drew. We're 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 making movie magic happen right here. Uh, if, if you want to get in a Farrelly Brothers movie, you just got that. And I know it's about 20 years after what you expected, but it, you, it's going to happen. No, you can find a good role for me, some washed-up old quarterback trying to, trying to wedge his way back into the conversation. I, 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 can, I can play that role. Wedgie, that's a good idea. A blood so wedgie? Yeah. Hey, Drew, thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. Rich, always good to talk to you. And, uh, hey, guys, thanks for making this movie. So excited to see it. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, really Drew. appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks, man. There's Drew Bledsoe. He, he, he is, I love that guy. He, Thank you he, very much. He is oh. a, uh, he, oh, by the way, we're not done. Our favorites. We're not done, Bob. Okay, we're out of here. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, we're not done. But you yeah, know, Bledsoe, I mean, if you think about yeah. it, you know, what happened that year yeah. where, where Brady comes in, yeah. Bledsoe goes down. Yeah. And what few people uh, remember is that in the AFC championship game to make the Super Bowl, Brady goes out. Bledsoe had to close that game out. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. And so, by the yeah. way, this is the other thing that people forget is Bledsoe almost died from that injury. That was a very, yes. very he serious his injury. Lung or something. Punctured yeah. his lung. He was, you know, bleeding, and uh, that that was that's the last we saw of him, which was a horrible way to go out. Right. A, a few years ago, the Patriots retire. Uh, they, they uh, you know, uh, inducted uh, Drew into the Patriots Hall of Fame. And at halftime of one of the games, he got up and he was trying to thank everyone. Mm -hmm. The people were clapping so loud that he, he, he never got a word out. Yeah, he's beloved in New England. He, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you ever try to get Parcells in one of your movies? Did you ever try he's to not as beloved. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the time, though, I mean, at the he time. He jumped ship. Yeah. Well, yeah, he deserted. <laughs> yeah, he did desert. He's out. Right. I'm telling Plus you, I, was, uh, Myra. I, I wasn't joking, though. When we were on, when I was on SportsCenter in the late 90s, and Cameron Diaz said that line. We flipped out. We were truly high-fiving in the newsroom <laughs> about that. And, and so you guys were inveterate sports center that's watchers? Our, that's or? our idea of the perfect woman. Like, a, a woman who all, she, she stood for perfection. Like, and the fact that at the end of the night, she just said, hey, come on, let's go and watch sports center. That was yeah. like, you're kidding me. What, how does it get better than that? <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And it was Cameron. And it was Cameron <laughs> Diaz. The Farrelly brothers are here in studio. We uh, have our poll question. Do you want to update it, Chris Brockman, our poll question? I will. Our poll question Farrelly today in honor of you guys, what is your favorite Farrelly brothers movie? And what's winning? Dumb and Dumber. There's something about Mary, Kingpin, Shallow How, results. Dumb and Dumber, 54%. There you go. Mm. They're yeah. lined up for you. Mm. Does it? Would you find that that is indicative of what you hear when people tell you about what your favorite movie is? Oh, you know, movie of yours is probably, but I, it's funny how many people come up about uh, Kingpin because Kingpin didn't do well, so I think it's seen as more of a cult movie, and you have a lot of real Kingpin nuts. I would up. tell you that would be my choice, even though I, I something about Mary is a, in my mind, it's a perfect movie. It really is a, in terms of the story and the yeah. acting and the humor and the poignancy. 
Uh, and of course, the, the 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 casting and Matt Dillon's great. Ben Stiller is iconic. It was and also so the perfect Diaz, but... storm of coming in at the right time because nobody was doing that kind of movie, so it shocked people. But bigger and McCracken. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing and about Bill Kingpin. Murray. I mean, holy between Woody smokes. Harrelson and, and Bill Murray, the the comb over yeah. of Big Earn in that movie. Uh, what, whose whose idea was to do the comb over? That was Bill's. Yeah, that was Bill's. Bill said, "Let's have a comb over and let's." And well, we had already done the comb over on on Woody's character. Sure, right. Roy Munson, and uh, but when Bill showed up, you know, he wasn't there the whole time. When he showed up, he said, "Hey guys, I have this idea," and he, and right. he did a comb over, and we, we were thinking, "Oh geez, we just did a comb over uh -huh. on uh, Woody." But then we realize it's doubly funny that they yeah. both have it. And he never read one line that we wrote, by the way. He would look at the sides, which is what you're shooting that day. Sure. And he'd go, like, eh, eh, eh. all right, I got it. And he'd just make everything up, and it was 10 times better. He than made everything up in that, in that film. Yeah, virtually. Pretty much. Fantastic. Yeah. And also, at the end, when he needed to get three strikes in a row yes. uh, to win, and we had 1,000 people at the National Bowling Center watching him, he got three in a row. Bing, bing. Bing. So they really went nuts. No kidding. He, he, yeah, it's <laughs> He's Bill a pretty Murray. good athlete. You Fantastic. Know. He's a really good bowler. I've yeah. got the Farrelly brothers here in studio. Wow. Peter and Bobby Farrelly. Their movie Dumb and Dumber 2 is in the studios uh, on November 14th. We just surprised you with Drew Bledsoe. But I, I feel like a game show host. But wait, there's more. Uh, joining us in the next segment, we're going to take a break. Let's show him for the, there he is, there is, hey. oh my God, <laughs> Brett Favre, <laughs> hello Brett, himself, <laughs> from Mississippi, we're going to have a chat awesome. with the Farrelly brothers and Brett Favre, live on the Rich Eisen Show when we come <laughs> back. <laughs> we are live here with the Farrelly brothers, Peter and Bobby Farrelly, Dumb and Dumber 2, in a theater near you, November 14th, and joining us as well, Bobby and Peter, we got number four right here. Live on the show. I am shaking in my boots right now. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brad, it's great to see you, yeah. man. I can tell. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. He doesn't even have boots. Yeah. He does those jeans commercials, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I got shorts on right now. So kind of warm here. Brett, what's your recollection of doing something about Mary? What's your rec re recollection about their movie well, you did? Well, first of all, it was... Uh, it was a long time ago, so That's right. uh, you know my my memory recall is not very good. But um, I, I just remember it being a lot of fun. It was it was obviously something very different from what I I had been used to. Um, and if I ever felt like a rookie, uh, this was the time. Um, <laughs> but but the guys were were very. Uh, I mean, they were patient. They were. Uh, very nice, had enjoyed the crew. My wife and I went down, we filmed in, in Miami, uh, went out to, to dinner with the whole uh, crew that night. And um, it was just a lot of fun. It was something very different than what I'd been used to. And, um, you know, after the fact, to, to be a part of something that big was, uh, you know, I was honored to be a part of it. Oh, cool, cool. You know, I remember. Fun, it was funny, I mean, I have to admit it was funny. <laughs> well, we had a great time, and the thing I remember is, first of all, you showed up on the set with a bu bunch of footballs, which you signed for everybody, but that day, we were in a parking lot, and you started throwing them to us, and you know, you watch, uh, you watch football on TV, and it looks like they're throwing bullets, but when you are, he is throwing, uh, it's coming at you like 95 miles an hour, it's terrifying. You, you were trying to catch it on the side, you don't want it to hit you, it was I, I could not believe how hard he was throwing that ball. My favorite line was when someone said to Brett in the movie, Wait, Brett, what are you doing here? He said, we're in town to play the Dolphins, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he nailed that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what a pro. What can I say? That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, I, what I, you know, what I remember about uh, the football part of it was, um, you know, we're out there and we had a break, and, and uh, I think at the time Cameron Diaz and, and Matt Dillon were dating. Mm -hmm. um, but we were all out throwing the ball and stuff, and, and I was, Cameron, she I, must have been a tomboy or something. She actually caught and threw better than all the guys out there. <laughs> yeah. that day. And, and, you know, I tell people that all the time. So she is, in fact, the yep. perfect, it is the perfect woman. That is, she is, as you said. In fact, so she was playing herself. She's in the exactly movie. what you would think she would be. She really oh, is that. There was, it, it was uh, uh, the hardest part of getting her to make that movie was that uh, she didn't care about any of it. She was like, I, I said, you're going to be a big star if you do this. She goes, ah, 
I don't want that. You know, she's just a cool chick. She, she just, never golfed, and uh, but she had to golf in the movie, yeah. was, and we we gave her like a half an hour lesson, and she had a much better swing than Matt Dillon, who's been playing his whole life. No way. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. So where where did the Favre line come from? Where did that come from? That was an ad lib by Ben Stiller. That was not written in the script, but that was uh -huh. Ben's genius on the moment. And I remember when he said it, we didn't know it was coming, and we were all like. <laughs> You know, we just thought that perfect because everyone has thought that. Like, how do you pronounce that name? It's right. Do you, you get know. that a lot still? Do you get that still? Um, I've been called a lot worse. <laughs> uh, on occasion, yeah, we we still get either someone misspelling or uh, you know uh, not pronouncing it correctly. Oh man. Yeah. Well, it's not like Dwayne Weed. That's the toughest name in sports. You know that, right? Dw Dwayne Wade. Yeah. You know how to spell Dwayne Wade? <laughs> No, I mean, like... How do you think you spell it? D-W-A-N-E. No. Dwayne? Nobody Dwayne. knows this. So go for it, Peter. It's D-W-Y-A-N-E. Yeah. Oh, did I didn't say the Y? Well, no. you, you would think you it would be D-W-Y, but you it's Y-A-N-E. You think it would be A-Y. It's Y-A-N-E. So he would be Dwayne but nobody, Wade? Or is that what, it, how no, would he be not, in your movie? It's not, you're not, you weren't good in spelling, were you? No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm juggling a lot, you know? <laughs> But uh, so, yeah. so Brett, uh, you, I don't know, if were you aware that you were apparently the third casting choice for, for this film? Were you aware of that, Brett? No. <laughs> uh, well, uh, well, because uh, we told him he was our number one pick when oh, he showed up. We had gosh. to say that. Oh, man. Well, hey, uh, Brett, thanks for joining. Had I had not known that. I would have, yeah, I would have never done it. So. <laughs> <laughs> thanks no. for joining. I figured this would be a nice, neat little yeah. uh, reunion here from uh, one of the great movies of, of our generation and you, one of the great cameo surprises at the end, Brett. So thanks for doing this. It was I perfect. It. Hey, th thanks for having me and, and good talking with you guys and best of luck with the, uh, the new movie. Thanks, thanks very Brett. much. Good to really see you. appreciate it. Nice to see you. Thanks, Brett. Appreciate it. That's Brett Favre. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was, he was a good show. man. When he he showed up, I'm telling you, you've never seen a more excited crew. Everybody was just, you know, they don't care. About, they don't care about Cameron Diaz. They don't care about Matt Dillon, Ben Stiller. He's there. People are like, he is. Oh he is. God. I'm telling you, he's Paul Bunyan. Yeah, he really, he really is. He's yeah. the real deal. That guy, yeah. you know, the guy in the jeans, the yeah. guy in yeah. the. He's authentic. You know, for sure. Yeah. So Dumb and Dumber Two. <laughs> Uh, coming out in theaters again on um, on November 14th. Uh, what was it like just getting to do this one more time with these guys? What was it like, Bobby? We had so much fun 20 years ago making the original. Right. Uh, to get back into business with Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels and do it again, it was just, it was a dream come true. We'd never made a sequel, but boy, it was fun making this one. Mm -hmm. And I think they picked up right where they left off. Yeah, it didn't take much time no. on the set. Instant, no. first take, five seconds in. I'm telling you the truth, they were back. You know, the guys are so good, and there was such pent-up energy to play those roles. It was mm -hmm. instantaneous. No kidding. No. And it, it, felt, it felt like the old movie. I mean, I don't want to give too much away, plot-wise, yeah. you know, but <laughs> it... it I think I gave something away in terms of that. It well, just the, know, the plot, just watching these two guys yeah. act like total, complete idiots from my seat, it's liberating in a way. Because yeah. I would love to just live life like that just for even five minutes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Just for five minutes to just walk around and act that way and be that way and sometimes get away with it. We've done know? that. Um, it's you know? not all it's cut up out to be. <laughs> you know, it's a lot I, did of, I did it for four years in college. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of regrets around that, actually. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but and Harry and Lloyd are like, they're like old friends. They really are. It's, it's great to see them back. Right, and they're going to be back in a, in a studio uh, theater. Why do I keep saying this? A theater near you uh, on November 14th, Dumb and Dumber 2. Bobby, Peter Farrelly, thanks for coming on. Thank thanks, you, Rich. You know, Thank you. Hooking you up with Favre it. again and Bledsoe. Well, thanks Taking a lot this, for that. This is awesome. You know? And it's funny how he did, Favre didn't let up on throwing footballs. No. He no, only knows no. one he, speed. Uh, yeah, one speed. <laughs> you, 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 it's, it's hard to believe how hard those balls are coming in there when you're, you know. And how pointy they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he can break <laughs> he's really broken hurt. fingers, he's broken hands, oh, yeah. he's dislocated fingers and whatever. And I am going to, uh, Peter, uh, kick up the chain of command, mm -hmm. run up the figurative NFL flagpole, 
this idea of why half the distance just move the first down it's, marker that much further down the field. Just, yeah. just making sure they know that option exists. It should hey, be there. Yeah. While you're there, ask yes. them to stop throwing so many flags, too. Other than that, it's, it's, it's an incredible, credible product. Yeah, I don't, know flags if, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to do that. I did get rid of the tuck rule. True story. I've been tilting at that window for a long time, and I know I'm telling Patriot fans this. Yeah. Well, but, I mean, that was we just, like come the on. Tuck rule. I know you do. I know. As does our first hour guest as well, Tom Brady. Thanks for coming on. Thank I appreciate you. Thank it. You. Go see it. Dumb and Dumber 2. Very funny. In theaters near you, November 14th. Bobby, Peter Farrelly, here on The Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> and that's essentially the way the movie starts um, as they go back together again. And, and uh, the way the last movie ended, there was were, there were some sort of, there I was guess, a, There was some debate, debate. Uh, about uh, the bus uh, at the end with the bikini team. The studio uh, it were asking, they were asking us to get them on the bus. Mm -hmm. They said, please get them on the bus. The audience will want that. We said, no, no, you can't. That, that would be dumb and got smart at the end. We don't want that. It's dumb and dumber. <laughs> And, um, and they said, well, just shoot it, just shoot it. But then when you shoot it, they make you put it in. Yeah. So that day we told Jim, we said, Jim, they, they want you to get on the bus. Um, but we're kind of against, he said, I'm not getting on that bus. That's a bad ending. It's a terrible ending. He said, so, you know, it would score higher too, by the way, if you tested it, yeah. people would score, cause they don't know what they're missing. But you know, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid would score higher if yeah. they didn't get killed at the end. Yeah, that's that's not the right answer, Spoiler the, the right yes. ending. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys stood your ground. Yeah, they, they never got on the bus. So. Never got on the but bus. But we feel like we got the right ending. You got yeah. the right ending. I think you did. And it's winning the <laughs> poll right now is a favorite movie of yours. Uh, thanks again for awesome. coming on. Thanks, Rich. Hooking you up with Bledsoe and Favre. And really yeah, appreciate it. And, and congrats on the movie. Thank you and very good much. Good luck with it. The Farrelly Brothers. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.